Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video of me with Ramsey HD. I'm not using my camera today because um, I didn't expect to come cutting, but we're at Brentwood today for a practice session. And um, yeah, I've got a bright pink new helmet. It's Shan's old helmet, but I'm doing um, a head cam today so you can see. So um, yeah, uh, it's a new track, so let's go. Um, I'll probably show you the guys in a bit. So yeah guys, this is the track. This is only what you can see from the track because you've got like a laser tag area there. All free wide. Go on lads. Go on the boys. But yeah, I've got a pink smack hat on which you probably will see in the fun now. But yeah, the, uh, to be fair, they look, they look nutty. I don't know if they're as fast as... Oh bloody hell. They look, they look a bit uh, hard to handle, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we're going to give a scrap, see what we can do. Obviously, suited and booted, ready to go. And um, yeah, I didn't expect to come karting today. But um, Shan's given me a he helmet and I'm going to customise it. I'm going to put like um, new decals on it and stuff. So yeah, uh, next footage will be me out in the cart rides. And... Um, yeah, let's go. I've missed her. You alright? Yeah. You alright? So, just so the, tail of the video of Beck with the cockatoo on holiday. Oh! I was just saying to the video, the, uh, you know like Scott was saying they look slower? But they look hard to handle yeah. in the corner. Especially this, this corner, you can go flat out. Yeah. Look, look how some of them go. Yeah. Oh, look, look at him. Woo! So yeah. Alright, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Right guys, yeah, sorry, she can't she snuck up behind me. So yeah guys, sorry I ain't got my camera today, I didn't know I was coming car and I said that already. But yeah, next time you see me is out on track with uh Tail and Scott. Uh let's go. Goodbye! Right guys, we are ready for this Brentwood karting session and we're going out just behind Tell. I'm not going to lie, out of all the tracks I've uh, tried uh, since November last year, this has to be one of my favourites. And uh, today I've got a bit of an update for uh, for the videos. I've basically got a timer, I'm trialling it out. So anybody that watches this video, please let me know down in the comments uh, whether the timer works. But as you can see here, new track and I've already spun out. Uh, we have had a lot of spin our lars, people going uh, wide, probably because the tyres are cold, but I'm not going to lie, uh, I felt really, really good on this track. Uh, for the first time going there, it was really easy to get into, but i definitely go again. I, I, I can't even remember how many tracks I've been on now, like one of Brawls and a few uh, during... Um, obviously holiday stuff like that but what I got out of this session was that there was a lot of drivers that were quicker than me but I was a lot more confident as you can see here we've got the timer going I hope you guys enjoy that um, me and uh, the orange uh, guy in orange were having absolute scrap and um, basically I'm finding it a lot easier now to keep up with carts ahead but obviously this is pre-recorded um, obviously I've been doing Club 73 now and I've, uh, the first race will be coming out soon but I still struggle to follow people with a lot more experience my fir uh, first lap was a 40.49 so um, I think it's a lot more down to experience and being like brave on the brake stuff like that um, basically to become quicker there's a lot of sections in this track that if um, if and when I get to go back, I know I need to work on. And um, obviously my fitness levels as well. Um, you don't really need a, a lot of fitness levels in karting, but I'd say mainly thing for me is my upper body, like my arms, like my arms tend to go up a lot. But I, I guess it's uh, the different types of tracks you're on, how bumpy they are, elevation changes, and and uh, so forth, so forth. Um, 
but yeah, we, we felt really good in this session. And obviously, thanks to Shan, got our new smack app. Like I know I'm an absolute I'm absolute sicko for wearing a pink smack app, but it's uh it's to uh, I can't even say this word. It's to pay homage to my granddad, obviously because uh, pink was his favourite colour. So obviously we we I would say we're 10, 10, 15 minutes into the session. Send it down the inside of two uh, through the middle of two carts. I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy this session. I was absolutely singing away in my helmet. I wish that I could have a mic to basically. Um, I think obviously because I've got a GoPro now I might be able to um, do that type of thing as we go right around the outside on the grass as you can see that was a quicker cart than me and I've confidently passed him so we're feeling good at the moment we're feeling fresh and um, we're about we then go to a, we're about 20 minutes into the session not long left and this guy just in front, not the yellow helmet, the checkered helmet, me and him have an absolute battle. But he's absolutely drifting the car around corners. He's slow, but he don't know what he's doing. We get, we hit a yellow flag, and obviously I've passed, because obviously I was a bit quick coming into the yellow flag. But it basically sets us up for the next lap. Obviously he was slow. There's me giving Shan a, a thumbs up. There's a there's an actual clip at the end of this video where uh, we got she got it in slow mo, which was pretty cool. But yeah, as you can see, we, we're pretty fast, and obviously um, at this point we're just trying to stay ahead of Tell and Scott, which is inevitable. They're gonna pass, but we just tried to not get lapped. But it was inevitable. We did, but we it, it's getting there. Like it's just, I believe it's just a confidence and um, a, a skill level issue now. Oh, obviously, like I'm, I'm still a chunky monkey, but you know, as obviously I said, that obviously I'm a, I'm still a chunky monkey. So uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, before we actually went out for this session, um, I, I actually weighed myself and I, uh, I had lost some weight, but that's probably like water away or just having a you, you know number two but i'm st <laughs> i'm starting to feel a lot quicker in a car missy's here by the way and she's trying not to annoy me and then she's poking me but yeah i felt really um good in this session i, I tell you what i'm starting to love guys is the round the outside move like I i'm an absolute i'm absolutely in love with it like going down the inside is just boring I was like, if I go around the outside, it's just where you, that's where you get the adrenaline pumping, and you get you get a real feel for it. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the um, uh, time we got on a few laps. I wanted to do it for every lap, but obviously because it's edited, um, I've done it for some just to trial it out to see what it looks like. Anyone that watches this, please comment down below and let me know what anything that I can do better in these type of videos. But as you can see, um, basically, we're coming halfway through the session, guys. Through some corners, I, uh, as you can see, I move my hand to the middle of the steering wheel. Uh, steering wheel. Uh, that's basically because my hands and arms are getting tired, and that's the only way, uh, in like very tight corners, I can get the cart turned in. So, guys, we're more than less halfway through the session. What I'm going to do is, uh, for the next uh, three or four minutes, I'm going to try something completely new. Please let me know down in the comments whether you like it or not. Thank you for Shannon for actually mentioning it. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with the, um, the footage. And I'm going to pop some music just um, like ambient below it. And I'll be back for you, uh, back with you in a um, couple of minutes time. I hope you enjoy.
guys i hope you enjoyed that segment it's very new and i will be trialing out different things basically to freshen up the look and the layout of the videos um obviously with the timing sheets as well i'm going to be trying to get better at editing them as we can see um this card that we just passed in the checker helmet we said before he was actually just drifting into corners like I don't know why he did a karting session. He should have done a drifting session because there was no point in doing it as we um, get tangled up with a kart there. Um, it was just it was blasphemy, really. I didn't know why he was doing the session if he was just going to drift around every corner, but each to their own. Uh, we were just trying to get our head down and get some solid laps in. As you can see, the, um, this was one of the younger, uh, younger karters that um, we was with in the session, and I was basically trying to keep up with the younger ones and the, uh, and the, um, the younger ones and the slimmer ones basically to see where I stand in terms of pace obviously through the corners as uh, Shan said before we get tangled up again um, I'm a lot faster through the corners obviously because I've got that weight behind me and it just uh, distributes more power into the corner so we can get a better drive off the corner as you can see here um, the car in front going wide we're going to size him up for a move Danny inside but obviously he's just a bit too quick at the moment so obviously down the straights I'm like a sitting duck in the deer in headlights but we're just going to try and get him in the corners yet again um, we've got a yellow flag for a um, yellow helmet this is where my arms start to go guys so the guy in the checkered helmet uh, uh, re-passed us um, it's just a physical issue now it's um, obviously uh, losing a bit of weight to get quicker um, basically getting my arms to a certain strength where I can basically um, feel good in the car and for the first time we see Tell and I'm not going to lie me and Tell had a, a really old ding dong battle here as you can see he's so quick on the straights but we got a little run on him but we basically um, we've got the timer up now we basically just tried to follow him this is uh, obviously Tell's uh, faster out of the three of us, right? But I find following Tell a lot easier than following Scott. I don't know if it's obviously Scott basically really aggressive, like basically chucking the car in. Tell has uh, a really smoothness about his driving style, whereas I'd like to think I'm a bit of both. I can be aggressive and smooth at sometimes, but obviously I'm still learning um, as it weird enough to say like what like people can say oh what can you learn about go-karting but there is so much that i've learned over the last i'd say couple of months in karting that i didn't even know was a fix so um yeah um it's just a case of uh basically getting out your comfort zone as uh the checkered helmet goes straight down our inside but obviously we break early enough and we get the move back done that's where I'm starting to get very smart um, about karting is that knowing my lines, I was obviously checking helmet has basically um, cut back underneath us. We're going to try and get a run on him. He goes wide. We send it down the inside. Yet again, that's my weight distribution, guys. I'm getting the speed out of the corner. This guy was, I think he was like third fastest and I finished seventh fastest in this session. So obviously he's going to send it down the inside again. Scott actually sends it down the inside. A cart, a cart spins and obviously I think he's, uh, the other cart spins behind. So we was having a really good old battle. But obviously he lost control of the cart. And obviously I kept my head. Which um, I'm quite pleased with. Out of the, I'd say I can't remember how many times I've gone karting overall now. But there's not bit not been a lot of occasions where I've span out as as we go to now me and Tell going side by side into the chicane he's gone for a wide line yet again we're more or less the quarter way getting the speed to his car but he's just like he's, he's in his rocket chip and he, he's just he's just in the stars he's he sent it but I believe this was a, a couple laps before the end and um, I'm not gonna lie it was a good session for us uh, obviously, we've got um, what we got coming up for me in terms of karting. We've got our Club 73 Rand coming up. And I do apologise for the shoddy camera angle. angle. It's basically uh, my GoPro mount decided to uh, go 
into the wind and it didn't hurt it didn't help that I was um, uh, moving it about because I was wanting to get the best shot possible but our next round is in Brighton and I believe and that this time it's been edited uh, we're going to Brighton for a test a test session or test race because uh, it's close to my birthday the Brighton round and I'm starting from the front so um, nervous and excited at the same time but I've already said to Scott I've already said to Shan that I'm gonna get my arms out and I'm sending people into the shadow realm so they better get ready so uh, I'm gonna be really aggressive that race because I'd like to finish high up the order guys see it's the last lap of the day and we're gonna time the lap I hope you enjoyed our fastest which was the 3702 that put us in seventh place for the rest of the session but we're basically trying to beat that on this very, very last lap. I didn't actually know it was a last lap. But um, as you can see, obviously, automatically off the bat, I am tired at the end of this session, trying to get a grip of the steering wheel. But it's very la a very lackluster last lap. But we're trying our best. We got a bit wide again. Uh, we've actually caught up the time during the um, mid-section, but this is basically where we lose it. And we get a 38, a 38, I think it was 38.7. And that is the end of our session, guys. Uh, you're going to see a bit of cool footage at the end of this. I basically just, everybody just breezed past me. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a, a little stroll. A Sunday night drive. And it, 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 I'm not going to lie, it did feel good after a, really, a real intense session. I don't know why the, the marshal was just waving a checkered flag at me. I was already going slow anyway. But as you can see, I'm struggling to actually turn the car. And I actually get this after every time I come off. You know like when you have an a gen, a, 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 a adrenaline rush. And then it's kind of like an adrenaline dump when you stop like an activity. Like my body just instantly started hurting then. But it, um, like... The recovery time is getting a lot quicker after I go kite, and so it doesn't hurt too much um, as well. So basically, we've come in, and we're going to have a cool bit of footage here. The man actually takes it off my helmet, and we get a little uh, a POV wheel. I hope you guys like that. Like that. Like, I'm a chunky monkey, I just realised. Guys, if you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, smack the bell down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.